Lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap limp there. Come now. Yo there, two tickets. One great and evil king and young sweet young thing. <laughs> Good gravy. B -b Bowser, the evil king, and d d glued old hag. I, uh, life's too short. I, I honestly forgot what kind of voice I gave him. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent, cheap, impudent little cheapskate. Huh? Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problem. You go on, you go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Woo! <laughs> Wait, Lord Bowser, please! Aww. Now my special Drigable Deluxe Brown Bag Cammy Lunch will go to waste. And now Bowser's flying all the way back to Glitzville. <laughs> yeah. uh. Oh, that, that's not good. Huh? That don't sound good. What's the warning? What's that warning light mean? Oh, don't tell me. And ploop. Bowser falls right into the water. Ready to roll. All right. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, buddy kid again. Welcome back to more Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Last time we finished up the um, uh, we finished up the um, chapter four, which is my favorite chapter in the game. In this episode, we're going into. Chapter bleh, the Bowser part before chapter five. Let's go ahead and get this started. So <laughs> Yeah, pretty much this is the same as the other Bowser level only difference being that um, Bowser is huge <laughs> And you're in an underwater level, so it can't be too horrible. Ooh, hello. This can't be good. Oh, well, I should be okay down we go And now we're right on back to the front Hello, little Goomba. Oh, you know what? I'll let you live. Why not? Oh. <laughs> as soon as I said I was gonna let him live, he just died. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Finish. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Shoot. That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's why? It's Bowser, the Koopa King! You lead us, someone help! <gasps> there you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I must ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming. Really? Neat! As for me, Glitzville was fantastic! The fights were so cool! I was overcome! Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me! And then, the hot dogs! Oh my gracious, yummily! I have... you have fun too? You have fun too, hmm? Lord Bowser, is that a... no? It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper! I wanted to have fun! But forget it, it's over. Go get me some info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars, now! Y yes your ruthlessness... I don't know, I save all progress up to this point? <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And there we go. There we go. <laughs> Five minute mark already.
And here we are, back at home. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Eh, not really. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit any time you like. You already know I'm gonna come back here, since this is literally my favorite chapter in the game. Alright, well, enough about that. We'll go ahead and head on back. And I think, you know what? This time, we're gonna go back to Angelo and... Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot. I forgot something. Hey, Gonzalez, listen. That must be an email from Princess Peach. My dear Mario, I have finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is a spirit of a demon. The Exnots plan to revive this thousand-year-old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal star so they can open the thousand-year door. They'll find this demon's spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans, Princess Peach. And... Ancient demon spirit? Sheesh, that don't sound good at all. No, it does not, Angelo. Well, let's keep on. Oop. Oop. Ooh. Whoops. <laughs> that was bad. All right. Well, let's uh, let's try that again, shall we? Do, 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 do. If memory serves right, this should kill each of them in one hit. Well, one of them in one hit. Ah. Uh... I mean, fighting these guys is kind of worthless, really. There we go. Yeah, fighting these things is kind of worthless right now, considering... Well... Considering the, um... Like, they don't give us any, um, star points at all. Like, that's a thing in this game, is, uh... If you fight enemies that were, um, weaker than you... Then you'll get like no star points for it. I, I kind of continued the fight right there mostly because um I they, I saw that one of them had a badge and I thought I could take it, but I was wrong. I was horribly wrong All right. Well, let's continue on shall we? Do -do 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 Come on Angelo. Let's get to the door Okay All right now I think before we go in the door. We're gonna talk to you real quick. Hey, 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 oh, I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. We got a favorite look of a man with a mind for good. Wanna buy something? I... I have no money. What? No more shopping? Sorry to hear that, my man. This is a limited time offer. I change the goods I offer from time to time, so come back real soon, all right? Yeah, sadly, I'm poor as heck because of all the running away from the last chapter, so... Eh, you know, what can you do? Actually, we'll go ahead and check out the bad shop to see if there's anything, like, relatively cheap that I can get. Let's see her. Uh, I can't even afford the cheapest thing. Wow, that's crazy. All right, well, let's go ahead and keep on going. Do 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 Back down to the thousand year door we go. Actually, how many star points do I have? I'm gonna check that real quick. Let's see here. Uh, 12? Is that enough to get the thing I want from the star- Ah. Star piece trader? I do not know, but I am about to find out. Let's see. You, over here. Do I have enough star pieces? Hello. My name is Dazzle. What do you want? Uh... Oh, I don't. I need three more to get that. Okay. So I need to get three more star, or star pieces. I don't know. I, I thought there was one right there, but apparently I was wrong. Alright, let's keep on going. I think there's one like down the stairs, but I don't really care. Let's keep on going. Do, 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 do. Down we go. Now I think we can just... 
If memory serves right, yep, we can just go up this um, spring here and go on up that way. Let's see what we can find. And here we are at the Thousand Year Door once again. Bang! Star number four. So, where will you lead us now? And here comes the glowy lights again. Woo! It always gets me every single time. And we are going... On a tropical island. Don't know why I'm quoting Adventure Time. <laughs> well, yeah, we're going to an island for the next one. That'll be cool. Bang. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Quick, let's cruise up to the professor's office. We have to tell the guy about the princess's email. Yep. Oh, yeah. We certainly will, Angelo. What? what, what? Th that was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon? And those feats want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Well, come on, give it, give it up, Pruff. What have you got? What'd you find out? Hmm, this is rather long, so you best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the computer screen. You listen up too. Did someone pile drive your head or what? I don't see any computer screen here, you nut job. Oh, never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood on this very area. It also says the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that is thing used the power of the crystal stars to try and control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this, I gathered that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. <coughs> so, if they're all uh, united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. Hey, then isn't it possible that we shouldn't gather these crystal stars? Even if we do find them all, someone could just steal them and all and revive the that monster. Maybe we ought to just stomp the heck out of them and throw the pieces away. That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the thousand year door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? The fact that those goons want the stars now might not be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready to for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Whoa, let's roll then. We gotta get the rest of those crystal stars. Where's the next one at? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keel Hall Key. Keel Hall Key? I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. 
You know the usual stuff, vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down, down by the harbor no more, you should head there first. Alright, we'll go ahead and head on down to the harbor in the next episode. Um, for the rest of the episode, I'm gonna um, go upgrade partners, and next time on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we'll go to the harbor and find some pirates. See you guys later. Eat bananas! But first, welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, which partner would you like me to power up? You already know which one. You already know. Shall I power up this partner? Shazibi. Shazubi! Powering up Vivian. Yay! Care to power up more? Uh, sure, why not? We'll power up Flurry. Yep. Shazibi! Shazubi! Pa. And here we go. There we go. Then you may go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go too. See you guys later. Eat bananas once again.